Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Kent and Lisa Ashenbrenner live with their sons in Dysart, Iowa, not far from Cedar Rapids. The sign outside their home makes it clear this family loves its Oliver tractors. My family purchased the first one, I think, in 1935 or 1936. It's been a line of tractors that's been very dependable for me as well as my entire family and our farming operation. Their pride and joy is this 1959 Oliver 880 row crop tractor. And no, your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. This Oliver is painted a lighter shade than most. The unique mist green color was supposed to help promote Oliver's new helical cut gear transmission. But back in the day, farmers didn't care much for the color. The sales department decided that to try and boost sales, that the 880 needs something to really distinguish it as a different tractor from say the 770, which is about the same tractor as the 880. It just is a little bit less in horsepower. So the sales department decided, they came up with this grand scheme of things to change the color for one production run of 249 tractors, which ran from January 23rd through the 28th of 1959. A lot of people call them commonly a, a a pea green color, but the actual term of the color is, is it's a mist green color. This color was so poorly received by both the dealers as well as the farmers and potential clients that would buy a tractor like this, that run of tractors was the only ones that, that were ever produced. Dad looked at me and he said, do you like that color? And I said, well, not especially, but it is an Oliver. He said, well, I'll agree with that. He said, I think, you know, we've always had Olivers and we're going to stick with them because we like them so well and they've been so efficient and good for us. The Ashenbrenners traded in that 880 after several years of use and it was mostly forgotten for more than three decades. But that all changed in 2001. While helping his dad clean out his shop, Kent came up with the idea to try and track down his family's long lost Oliver. In the process of cleaning out some of the junk, I ran across the original air cleaner and I was like, what in the world is this? I have no idea what this is at all. Well, Dad said that's the original air cleaner off the old 880 that we had. After mulling it over for a few days and, and doing a little research, Kent said to me, he said, you know, I'd really like to try to find that tractor. I figured after that much time, he was nuts for even attempting to find it. I thought, this is just a fool's quest. He's not ever gonna come up with anything. But I said, sure, honey, if that's what you wanna do, go for it. I started immediately trying to trace down where the tractor might be, who might have it, because I did have the original air cleaner cap that was this particular color, as well as the uh, owner's manual that had the uh, serial number in it. So I just decided I'm going to try my darndest to try and find this tractor and see if I actually can. And so the search began from there. The Ashenbrenners searched the internet, placed ads in papers, called and emailed everyone they knew that collects Oliver's. It took almost two years before they finally caught a break. A friend knew of a family in Minnesota that had found a couple of mist green 880s. Kent emailed the couple and asked about the serial numbers. I think it was the following night she emailed back. <laughs> she said the, in the email, the first tractor is a gas, it's a wide front, it's serial number 73844. And I was like, well shoot. Well then I read down a little farther and read that it was the second tractor was a gas tractor, narrow front, serial number 73727. Now the interesting point to me at this point is, is I was upstairs, mind you, in the house in our office reading this. My wife was out by the barn feeding the cats, heard me yell at the top of my lungs, my God, we found it! <laughs> when he jumped up out of the chair after reading the email and finding out that his grandfather's tractor had been found, he actually cracked his head on the ceiling. And I, so when I came running up there and he was sitting and he was holding his head, my first thought was is that he had injured himself. Something had happened, he was hurt. And he looked up at me and there were tears in his eyes, but he was smiling and I thought, well, this is a little odd. And he said to me, they found it. So the tractor was found up in Minnesota and how it ever ended up there from Dysart, Iowa, I will never know and probably nobody will except the tractor itself. A friend of mine and I road tripped up to Esterville with the trailer and the truck and after 34 years, I actually got to sit on and drive the tractor that Grandpa and Dad had bought. And boy, the emotional reaction that I had when I saw her for the first time, as you can see kind of now, was 
pretty neat. I couldn't believe it. And he said, yeah, he said, I traced the serial number back. And he said, I was fortunate enough to find it. And I was going to surprise you and Grandpa. And he certainly surprised his dad. There's no question about that. But his grandpa didn't live long enough to see it, but it was quite a thing. The only really regret that we have with the whole process of bringing the 880 home and getting it refurbished is, is that Kent's grandfather never got a chance to see it. I believe we told him that we had found it before he passed away, but by the time it was finished and brought home, he was gone. So Kent never got to share the joy of bringing it home and his grandfather never got to see the tractor all put back together and shining and looking brand new like it had been when he first brought it home. No doubt it took some doing, but that missed green 880 finally found its way back home. Now, after seeing their father's hard work pay off, Kent's sons have caught their own case of classic Oliver fever. Right now, both the boys do have their own tractors. My youngest son, John, has got a Super 88 diesel that's in the shed. My older son, Jason, has got a 550 Oliver. So I think our entire family's got classic tractor fever pretty good.